Today we will be watching Puka. He is currently the number three Yanis on the leaderboard. They are currently sitting at 3123 MMR with 630 games played in Grandmaster. So already going into this this spectator, I want it to be known. He's playing against pros. That's Barracuda, Vienu, Wowie. So this is this is gonna be a game. This is this is the number one Yanis right now. Alright, let's see what he started with. He went conduit gem, lost artifact. So I think he's going to go into just uh, the movement gem thingy I can't think of the name of, and like, Chronos Pennant, like, cooldown, and whatnot. So, he's doing the normal start. He's not doing anything weird. I, I kind of want to, in one of these games that I spectate, I want to see somebody do some weird stuff that I haven't thought of, and like, oh my god, that's genius. But, wait, it's just like the meta normal starts so far. He's gonna help his Hebo clear, and, uh, he's gonna, they're gonna get level 2 for free, pretty much, and go to mid lane. I... This is gonna be an interesting game. They got three pros on their team, and I have uh, Tub. I have heard of everybody else. I have not heard of on the on this team. So this is this might be interesting. He is against a Chunga Neath. Is that Neath mid Chunga jungle or is it opposite? Let me look at items real quick. That is Chunga jungle. Okay, so Chonga Jungle Neath Mid versus Hebo and Yanis. Hebo and Yanis probably have the aggression to start the game. I'm not I'm not hundred percent for sure. Actually it's probably about even. It depends if Neath can hit a root or not. If if Neath hits a root, they probably lose, but if not, Hebo kinda just poops out damage. The Herc solo killed the the Nike already, so that's a good sign. <laughs> oh my good god. So he's just waiting, he's just sitting around waiting for middle to come back. They do have a little bit of a gank on him. He flips right in front of him. They, they decide not to really hit him. They're just focused on clearing for now. On God blink. Yeah, he hits one. They're not, they are not winning this trade. He's looking to portal maybe? Kinda doesn't know what to do. He's not even autoing or anything. He portals the Neath. They're kinda throwing all their poke at this Neath. That was a good route. And he is dead. Yeah, they were not winning that one. He probably should not have used his portal aggressively like that. He, he should have probably just left. Or portaled the wall. If he portaled the wall, he was out. So he comes out of base. Let's see what he picks up. He is going. He hasn't gotten anything yet. Early deaths like that are real bad because you do not get any stronger for... A little bit of time and you're, it delays your power flake really, really badly. So I'll be uh, interested to see how he plays from here. I'll also be interested to see if you guys hit the like button and comment, subscribe, and check out Gamer Subs. Thank you. Use code Solid Checkout sponsor. I had I to just slip that in there real quick, you know? So he's just grab and farm right now. There's you don't really get to play the game until you hit level five as Yannis. So he's just kind of getting whatever farm he can get his his little portally hands on. And I think he's gonna just go yeah go portal back to mid. Make sure he doesn't miss any mid creeps. He got he he just got two camps and a mid wave here. So he does hit level five off that. He gets his ult. He can play Janice now. He can play the game now. He's gonna just get red buff. Kind of free low farm right now. It's not really a reason to be that aggressive right now. They are clearing that so slow. Oh my god. <laughs> I think Hebo was saving mana so he could clear his speed buff. They're looking to ults. Need his ult in somebody. Who's it? Solo lane? Oh, that's dual lane. The map's all flipped around. It's kind of annoying. Spect an annoying spectator thing. I think he's just pinging or calling out that like Nice trying to ult something. Maybe not. Maybe he's absolutely doing nothing. I don't know. I have no idea. 
He gets back here. He probably picks up. Ooh, excuse me. He picks up. Restored artifact. Working on that Chronos Pendant. I think you have to go Chronos Pendant for a side of Onyanis. I, I think he's... Not very effective unless you get those cooldowns going right away. He didn't go Sands of Time, which is interesting. He opted for Conduit Gem, probably just to help his clear a little bit better, because you really can only use one ability to clear the wave as Yanis, and that's your two. You don't really want to be wanting the wave because it just makes you able to be killed early, and it's kind of just bad. Like, you, you can use it, but you don't want to be using it every wave, or else they, you're going to get ganked and just die. So he, he just is clearing and being chilling right now. I want to see where he starts ulting. I want to see where he starts going in a Bruin. He's probably going to play around the Hebo and try to just gank everything with the Hebo. Like, f across the map with his ult. Chonga is ganking him right now. He does not know it. Uh, kinda. Uh, they trade a little bit of damage. That's the problem with the Chunga jungle, man. She shows up in the lane, and it's like, okay, I'm here. I've hit you with abilities. Did you die? No? All right, you're out. Yeah, I ganked my three people there. They are playing really aggro for this. He is just backing. He doesn't care. I don't think Neath has the range to get to him. This is... <laughs> what? That was an interesting dive. You try to catch him being lazy, maybe? He's trying to see what that was all about. He's still just, he hasn't really done much of anything. And I mean, that's this character though. You don't do anything until you have at least like two items. You can like do a little bit of poke damage in there, but it's not, it's not even that much. It's not that great. It's not like, you know, it's at an eight second cooldown already. Like it, it takes a while. And most of the time you're just gonna be using your two on the wave. So it's like, you, you kind of just have to wait. You have to wait for your items and your power spike to do things. Uh, what did he pick up? He does pick up his Chronos Pendant at least, so he can he can spam a bit better now. Need taking the Bastion Bucks for free. He's gonna get red. He's kind of just getting mid wave, playing safe, getting a back camp, back to mid wave, back to another camp, rinse and repeat. And now he's taunting the Neath after sitting under tower for the whole game. <laughs> Why is he? Did he get bored? Or he just said, ah, oh, fuck it. I'm gonna start taunting. That'll make it interesting. Like, bro, you are you are a tower boy. What are you taunting, my man? I'm surprised he doesn't just clear the green buff. He did notice they back, so he can push up. Oh, big bastion damage. Okay. Big bastion damage. He's lagging a little bit. Neath is back, he's just gonna full clear the wave. Oh, he instantly ults over to right lane. I think he saw the, he does get the hit on it, I think. He saw the fight was happening a little bit late, but he about just killed everybody. He came in for some haha -ha fun damage. And that is real, real bad for his enemy team. Hebo with the triple kill is never good. In the meantime, Neath got a free kill with her ult. He's just gonna play safe and portal away. Well, he got the rotate. It's a little bit late, but it ended up working out because he I don't, I don't even think he made a direct impact on that fight though I'm pretty sure his teammates would have killed them all regardless So he just gets to portal out and Bing chilling. He's gonna get some farm over here before he backs He already cleared mid wave so he should get back in time to get the full mid wave. Uh, let's see what he picks up What's he cooking with? What are you cooking? Give me something good. It's so hard to find the icon. Uh, we got Enchanted Spear. So that's another 60 power. He's probably just gonna build Deso, is my guess. Nothing to take the short portal. Which is kind of interesting. Like that, what, the SPG of what? 0.5 seconds faster than lane, maybe? I don't know if it's worth putting the cooldown on that ability. <laughs> to get there that millisecond faster. So he's just been farming. And, oh, they're diving. Tower, tower's invisible. Don't know why. Oh, tower's gone. JK. I don't know when tower got taken. But they, he gets free low right there. He didn't have to alt or do anything. He just kind of showed up and Hebo did all the work and then he pushed two. Oh, he's alt and left. Kind of a low alt. He needed to aim it a bit further up. He's gonna portal A, should go. Partner, I missed it by that much. Hebo gets another freebie. 
<laughs> this Hebo's playing the game for both of them. <laughs> this Hebo's getting everything for free. God, Hebo is such a character. What a character that is. That character is going crazy. Oh, and then the Chungog got the huge shutdown on Hebo. Make this one a little bit more interesting. It's six to eight. I mean, this is just Yannis, though. Like, I wish this character did things pre, like, before items. He just doesn't literally do anything until you have items for cooldown. And then you can start, like, just doing this. Teleporting over the map, getting farm, getting a better advantage faster than other people. Like, he's o he's 015. He has, what, 30% cooldown already? And he is, like, two levels over their mid laner just because of... He can farm a billion things at once. I I wonder if that like hurts his jungle at all, but it doesn't because Hebo has a billion kills. So like even though Hebo's getting less farm, it doesn't matter because he has a billion kills to make up for it. Would they see another brawl? He's autoing the piss out of this man. Hebo had a that is a ult. Oh, they're running away, that's why. So he focuses them. He focuses down Barra and gets a, gets the kill and just ults away. He kind of looks in case he wants to bid two again. In case they keep fighting and then just keeps like portaling away. He throws out a portal for his teammate. Teammate doesn't fucking take it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Teammate does not want his charity, man. He's trying to set him up. They're getting a free red buff and they are... He's chilling. He picked up, he at least picked up a kill there and did something to help the fight. They're still up a kill. They're not up gold, but he doesn't care because Yanis only gets better as the game goes on. He's pretty weak to start the game and slowly gets better. And does he pick up anything good? What's he pick up? He picks up, uh, just restored artifact. He's probably going, to, oh, I don't know what that is. Tahuti maybe? So he's just Kronos Pennant, does so Tahuti right now, which is... Pretty standard, nothing weird. I'm surprised a little bit he didn't go do more because do more is pretty good. Do more gives that move speed so much power. Move speed's always good on the Ennis. They are just picking, they're picking boogers right now. Barrel, what are you doing up there, my man? Barrel, what in the hell? You are 1v4 on their side of the map, my guy. What are you doing? He's an ADC player, okay? Give him a break. Give him a little bit of a break. They get free gold because they got the support pick and then nobody was there to respond to them. They're going to TP middle and just get more farm. I think he's gotten literally every mid wave in the game. I don't know if he's missed one yet. And that that's like the classic Yanis combo right there. Throw out your two, poke with it, teleport through a wall so they can't even hit you back. Rinse and repeat. That's how you play Yanis. You just do that a lot. And you're doing it. He's nay down the lane like a madman. He's got okay. Not only has he never missed a midwave, I think he has gotten quite literally every green buff and red buff also. And back camp sometimes. He absolutely whiffs an ult there. Good Aegis. Immune damage. They don't have... Like, this game is so free for him because they don't have any ways to chase him. Who is going to chase this? Who's going to chase him? They have no mobile assassin. They have a Chang'a. The only way they're going to kill him is if they get lucky and, like, burst him down with Chang'a ult or, like, CC him sometime. Like, even that's not likely because he's got beads ages. Like, they have no way to chase him after he portals, which is real bad for the enemy team. Real good for him. Real bad for the enemy team. It's so interesting to see how much the team comps like matter and how, like your performance. Cause like if they have a Sir Cat, he's just dead. He's dead like three or four more times this game. But since they have Chunga, it's like, it doesn't even matter. They have, they have to burst him and they're just not. So he gets to play like super safe and not really in like free cast and not worry about anybody like hitting him. All right, he's going for a rotation here. He misses ult by a little bit, but he probably picks him up. Ooh, the Marty has... Ooh, oh, he's getting both actives out. I think he just chase him down now and clean him up. Heimdall got out. Heimdall TP'd out, which is nuts. And now they get to chase him. 
Ooh, another teleport. Oh, big autos. Okay. He is getting this wave while Nene tanks tower for him. <laughs> Dude, this guy literally has a one-track mind. It is to get fucking farm. And that is all he he has come to do. He gets farm, plays safe, rinse and repeat, alt somebody eventually. Fight with numbers. He's he's very like systematic about what he's gonna do. They want to dive him. Oh, he's not going to. They're like this is fucking dumb. What's the point? <laughs> Why are we killing the support player for four people? This is dumb. All right, he's gonna. Hey. I can't believe what he's about to do next. He's going to go mid and farm more. <laughs> Who would have thought? He's kind of letting all of these fights just come to him. I mean, he's been, like, pretty good about ulting when, like, he actually needs to and not just, like, throwing out an alt for, like, dumb damage or something. He's always going through the alt and, like, making sure he has... He is there to follow up and not just praying that the alt kills somebody. That's a, that's something a lot of bad Yannis players do. They're like, I see a low person. Let me try to ult them. And then they don't follow the portal. And then they just inevitably miss and then get away. I, I want to say he missed there, but I think he honestly just wanted to get the farm. <laughs> He's going to hit up. Oh, he misses another. He has not hit an ult yet. He has not hit an ult yet. That is the thing about this character, though. Oh, he just like, chunks the chunk out through a wall. He gets a lot of opportunities to fuck up and still, like, play safe. <clears throat> He's just throwing out his damage wherever he can get it. He's getting... Look how mobile this character is. He started on the opposite side of the lane, and now he's over here. Ooh, it's a good portal to save his Hebo. That was a real good portal to save Hebo. They're calling fire and they know they're on fire? Well, maybe he thought they were on portal? And then he, he just saw they're on fire right now. They, all right, they have that fucking warded, that's for sure. Kind of just causing a... He's causing a little bit of problems. He's kind of getting people to chase him and do dumb shit. Blue team does get fire and he ults back in. He ults like past the hurt. I don't think he hit anybody. I honestly didn't even think he should have ulted that. And he's already right back in the fight. Does he die for it though? Nope, that's a hurt call. He doesn't even die for it. Oh my god, he actually just gets to go wherever he wants. Enemy team is like ignoring him. Alright, he's getting tossed around in this one. And he is just all out because he pushes his alt button. And they have no way to chase him, so he just is out. They got gold, I believe. I don't think they got a stun. Yeah, they got gold. So they have Oni minions pushing now. He's level 18, almost level 19. At about 20 minutes. He's gonna get a fat two there. He had like three people with that. Getting good damage. His team is getting rolled right now, though. Getting more poke damage is portaling away, as every Yannis does. He didn't go blink, man. I wish he went blink for some hot plays. He got some damage down, okay. He's gotten like three or four multiple man twos this fight. That's the first one he missed this fight. He got a lot of poke damage off. I think he's just waiting for Hebo to... Uh... They're trying, maybe? They're pretty hesitant about pushing up. Somebody's in that bush! There's a, there's a person, there's a Neath in that bush. And they're one hit. Ebo moment. I would have not stayed in that bush. That was an interesting decision. So he's almost level 20 at like 22 minutes. I mean, this just goes to show you how much you have to farm to hit level 20 in this game. He is he has quite literally done nothing but farm and he just hit 20 at 21 minutes. And I, he has two kills and only he has only farmed the whole game. He's getting some free poke off. He's just kind of throwing it and then portaling back through the wall. As you do. <laughs> As every Yannis does. He does have ult here. I wonder if he uses it. Ebo got chased and got blapped. He's just opting to go left side here. I think Fire is almost up. I think he wants to ward it. He wants to put that ward down, brother. Put that ward down, man. Put it down. 
Gonna put it down. All right, he does ward. He throws out two wards for fire. They are getting his Phoenix right now. They're trying to get Phoenix? No, they like, yeah, they're trying to get Phoenix. They are hard diving that Neath. Portal for a free kill, baby. That's what we like to see. He's, he's playing the janitor of the team right now. He's just cleaning stuff up. He does have alt still. He goes for it. He misses it by an inch. Has he hit an alt yet this game? I don't know if he has. He just slowly trying to poke him down. He like heals the Herc. He doesn't even damage that guy. Wave there. Oh, he's thinking about farming it. Hell yeah. <laughs> he's got one thought on the mind, ladies and gentlemen. The Herc is by himself. He's probably gonna try to portal him. Trying to juke it. He gets a fat alt. They are slowing the fuck out of him. I don't think he hit anybody with that. He doesn't really have anything to do, so he's just gonna go over here. Oh no, he's gonna kind of reposition and kind of look for the fight again. Just kidding, he's doing a fucking back camp. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna back. What's he cooking with now? I haven't checked his items in a while. What's he got cooking? He went Deso to Hootie Soul Reaver. So, oh, then Gem of Focus. So he does do some damage to the Herc, to the tanks. He does, he's not hitting real hard, the tanks, but he, he's doing some damage. He does have alt in five? Ebo moment? He comes into the, oh. He comes into the fight pretty late and just has to run away from Marty alt because it would have done his HP bar. Alt in back in, he hits a bill cam on Marty. He had a beads Aegis that, he got Neath ulted. They are chasing him. Throwing out free damage. Still Portland away. I think he's pathing pretty correctly. Keep running, buddy. I think he's out. Chonga cannot get to them him in time. Bye, have a great time. Oh, he's out of there. Hell yeah, baby. He's out of there, man. Time to go. He's in at 4 1 and 9 now. Slippery little bastard. Did he grease himself up before he started playing this game? He's slick like a, the back of a dolphin. Oh, he's getting that Bastion at 25 minutes? Okay, big. That's a big Bastion buck right there. This team is pulling fire. Enemy team is not ready for it. They get a little bit of an engage. He's playing really far back, which is good. He should be. He's trying to flank this side. Oh, he hits an ult on both people. Pretty good all. He doesn't have. Look at how dumb Marty Alt is. Oh my god. He had like 70% of his health. <laughs> so he got his damage off and he's just kind of gonna reset. Heimdall got to run down a free kill. They are. Wow, this is a barn burner. Get back in there, man. I want to see what's happening. I mean, I could, I could just. I could just do this. Their Heimdall is going crazy. Their Heimdall is going nuts. He's almost back in the fight. Heimdall is actually just winning the game for the, the team by himself. He's a big two. Big two for 100 damage. <laughs> he gets a good portal. He is so dead. Did he just crit him? Did he just crit him? Did he crit him? Does he? Does Heimdall have... Uh, what's it called? Fail not? Where are you? He doesn't. How did he crit him? What is going on? Was that somebody else critting him? I'm so confused. It looked like he crit him. He's doing something we didn't know existed. He's critting with me, Janus. He's revolutionizing the game. He's sitting at a pretty five and one. He has all, they got Fire Giant, 18 to 23. They are winning this one uh, so far. It wasn't EFG, but it is, it is still quite good to have. I think they just want to push and knock down towers now. He still hasn't gotten mid tower. He's been playing so, so safe this whole game. He's gonna back it on up. He's gonna back and probably pick up. What's he gonna pick up? He picks up his Staff of Mirrodin. So his plan is just alt in to do a bunch of damage, portal away. Like every Yanis player, who would have thought? It's a pretty, like it seems like it would be like a crazy, like super, like insane mechanically character, but no, not really. <laughs> like you, you do the same thing every single fight and then you portal over and over again. Now, if you have blink, that's when it gets funny. That's when you can start doing some bullshit and it's pretty funny. 
Oh my god. That's a pick, like a booger. Hit your autos, man. Well, they picked him up. He missed all of his abilities except for one, and then it, like, half health her. And he just gets to run away for free. They're all in mid. He's looking to re engage. They don't know he's there. They're not. Oh my god, 1100. Jesus Christ. And Smite crashed. Ah. All right, we're back. So he gets the one hot, one shot. There's a bunch of damage to Chonga. That's a portal. Wow. His, his cooldowns are nuts, especially with Deso and Corona's meta. Oh my god. He is doing so much damage now. He is just pissing out damage. They should win this fight. There's only two tanks left. They can't really do anything about it. They're just going to get run down very slowly and die. They are taking so much damage. Oh my good god. And that's an all. Oh, field goal is good. <laughs> he picks them up anyways. <laughs> he really hasn't hit that many ults this game. He's hit like what, two? Two ults so far, I think, maybe? Two or three? They get metal things for free. They got a lot of towers up, so they can't end the game. Yeah, that, like, I don't think people realize with two towers up, like, the the, the Titan has, like, 20,000 HP. Like, it has so much. And they still have some people to defend, so. He gives portal just in case. Just a little bit, just in case. Alright, so their team is, like, obliterating them now. Actually, the fights were pretty even until that last one. Uh, what are we looking at stat-wise? How is everybody else doing? Hebo is 12 and 5. He's 0 and 4. 4 and 5. 7 and 1. 4 and 4. Oh, he gets... <laughs> Barra gets picked again. <laughs> Tried to be the hero. Did he steal it? I, I didn't even see. I don't think he did. I do not think he stole it. If he stole it, that was good. I don't know if he stole it or not. He's also not worth money, so I mean, might as well try to steal it. He hits a bill cam on somebody. Underneath, he does about all of it. Ooh, that was close. Well, he had a really good ult there and it hit the portal too, but they beads it. Kind of chilling around on the outskirts of this one. Oh, time to farm, baby. You're goddamn right. That 30 minute blue buff coming up big. <laughs> He's backing. He's getting a reset here. I think they're just gonna get fire now for free. And then probably push up the end. I think this one is just over now. This is gonna be a big EFG, and like, they're already winning every fight, so I don't know what they do. I don't know what the enemy team does to, to beat them. He has gotten a free cast and kind of do whatever he wants his whole game. He did farm for about 95% of it, but like, he, he just got to do whatever he wanted. They just have no way to chase him and dive him. They have to just get lucky and burst him, and that like, window to burst him is like, what, like two seconds? of him showing up, twoing, and then portaling away, is that they maybe have two seconds. They do have alt. They have alt. They could try to do some cheesy backdoor, but I don't think they need to. I think they can just straight up fight and then kill. I think he missed. He is getting ulted a shit ton. It's not gonna matter. He's gonna portal a wall. Oh, he almost hit that damage. He is that. He's really good at playing safe spots. Oh, okay, that's a one hit. That looked fun. <laughs> that's the one hit he was looking for. Yeah, he had he had them on that ward. That ward he put down way earlier was so good for them. Oh, big auto. Okay. I think that's all she wrote. Tell so, you what we learned from this one. Play really safe. Pray your team does things and then clean up kills. Wow, you're doing it. You're playing Yanis. It seems like. Evo absolutely popped the fuck off that game. Pretty much everybody on his team did their role pretty well. He, like, eventually just got to one-hit, like, two people, and they went off of it. That is nuts. He's, he kind of played like an assassin, almost. <laughs> pretty much he played like an assassin. That's kind of That's so interesting. So strange. So he ended up with 41k damage. He actually out-damaged Hebo. 
He actually did more damage than Hebo. I did not expect that. He, he ended on a 9-1 and 14. He farmed like a motherfucker. What's his goal a minute? 632? Yeah, the highest in the game. Out, he out gold a minute a Hebo with 14 kills. That's nuts. All right, that was that was an experience. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please also check out Twitch, 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 Discord. Uh, if you have anybody I want, I should spectate next. Please leave it in a comment down below. Thank you guys. See you guys next time. Peace.